Automating shades, blinds, and curtains is one of the smart home's coolest and most useful tricks that you can apply. Acaris Curtain Driver E1 and SwitchBot's Curtain Rod 2 are two smart solutions out there. Both offer similar specs and features, making them hardcore rivals in the smart curtain class. So you may be wondering which suits you well. Let's find out from today's video. Starting with the design, these smart devices come in a handy compact form factor. The Akara Curtain Driver weighs 1.41 pounds only, and SwitchBot Curtain Controller weighs less than one pound. Besides, Akara Driver E1 works on U-Rail, I-Rail, and Curtain Rods, and the SwitchBot Rod 2 only works with Curtain Rods, as its name suggests. With Full of Joy, you can easily and quickly set them up without applying any rocket science. No matter what size curtain rod you have inside your house, SwitchBot can roll over them like a roller coaster. On the other hand, Akara Driver E1 may face some issues due to its complex track glider, which won't be an issue at all after installing them patiently. Moving on to carrying capacity. In our research and test, we found that Akara's shade controller can haul a max of 12 kilograms of weight. In contrast, SwitchBot can haul up to 8 kilograms only. That is because Akara has a bigger and better motor installed than SwitchBot. Next, both of these smart curtain controllers are compatible with most cross-platforms, including Google Home, Amazon Alexa, IFTTT, and many more. Moreover, you can directly control SwitchBot Rod 2 from your smartphone, which is impossible for Akara Curtain Driver E1. Because this Akara device requires a Zigbee 3.0 hub to execute the function, users need to pair the hub with their mobile phone, and then it'll be accessible to operate remotely. A fun fact is that if you pair the Akara curtain driver with an Akara camera hub G3, you control it with hand gestures, which is awesome. To keep on the race, the SwitchBot already features something similar, which is its own remote button. Just push the button and SwitchBot automatically closes or opens the shades for you. Talking about runtime, these two rivals run on lithium ion batteries. The impressive thing is you can skip the frequent charging once you install a solar panel for the SwitchBot. On the other hand, a car driver E1 can last up to 12 months straight, which is more than enough. However, here's a fact we like to mention. The overall runtime depends on friction, weight, and type of curtain, and other few things. Well, the Akara Curtain Driver E1 starts at $89.99, whereas Old Boy SwitchBot Curtain Rod 2 offers $99. Both come with a good value for the customers. So, which one should you have? If you're living in a large space, and your curtains are heavier than usual, plus you have U or I shape rails, then a car curtain controller is the suitable option for you. Otherwise, SwitchBot Rod 2 is also a good option to choose if you have traditional curtain rods and your curtains are not heavier than eight kilograms. So that was all about the Akara Curtain Driver E1 versus SwitchBot Curtain Rod 2. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and share with your friends if you have found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.